What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco from KiloLoco.com and today we're going to be going over deep linking. Now this is going to be kind of like a follow-up to uh, one of my other videos where I showed you how to open other apps. Um, the process of deep linking is uh, essentially being able to open up another app but going to like a specific location. So maybe you want to go to a specific page when you open up that app or you want to pass in some data. I'm going to be showing you how to do all of that right here. Um, but before we jump in, I just want to say if you have any questions on your code or you need a little bit of help or you want to send me some snippets of what you're working with and you can't get past it, you know, that's what kiloloco.com is for. You know, you go there, you sign up for the all access membership, you get in, you get invited to the Slack community and I'll help you out there. This is actually where this video came from. All right. So let's actually jump into it. Now we have two apps. We're going to have a primary app and a secondary app. And um, from last time, if you saw the other video, uh, this is actually an app that allows you to open up a secondary app by pressing this button and it allows it goes to the second app. And then if you were to press this button, it also goes back to the other app. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to pass a message or pass some type of data over to our second app. And if we go ahead and open up those projects, I have the primary app right here, as you can see, just regular view controller, um, little text field right there, little button right there. And then we need to also open up the second app, which is right here. And if we take a look at the second app, we have that screen that we saw before, but we also have this secret view controller right here. And you'll actually see that it's called secret view controller. I have an ID for it and all this other stuff because we're gonna be using storyboards to open up everything. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, what we wanna do is we wanna be able to put a message right here, send it over to the second app, and then do something special with the second app. So let's go ahead and jump right in um, bef uh, and we're going to go to the view controller. And as you can see, this is all the information that was set up from the last video um, with the exception of this new message text field. What we're going to do is we're going to, you know, take our message and we're going to pass it to that other app. And it's actually very simple to do. So let me just go ahead and do that for you real quick. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right here, we're gonna just simply create a message and we're gonna take whatever's in the message text field, we're gonna unwrap, we're gonna grab the text, we're gonna add percentage encoding, which essentially is going to um, make spaces turn into percentage 20. It's, it is essentially making it so that it can be converted into a URL string because if you know, or if, if you're familiar with URLs, you can't have a space in a URL. It doesn't work that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do URL query allowed for the encoding, and that's going to give us our message. From here, what we want to do is we have our second app path. And as you can see, this is what the other app um, scheme is called. And what we want to do is we just want to put our message right here at the end of those uh, two slashes. So we're going to just do some interpolation. We're going to pass that message right in there. And since it's um, optional. I'll just go ahead and nil coalesce this bad boy like so. All right. So now whatever message we have right here is going to be passed over to the second app, but we're not done yet. So what we want to do is we're going to head over to our second app and let's go ahead and put this on a different desktop right there, right on there. All right. And uh, now that we're in our second app, as you can see right here, we're going to go to the app delegate. And we're going to delete all this nonsense right here because we don't need any of it right now. And we're going to add in a new method called uh, open, open URL. And it's going to be this one right here. Make sure it has the open URL and then it says uh, open URL option key and it returns a bool, a boolean. And what we want to do so far is we just simply want to print out that URL just so that we can see what's coming over. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this. Oh, that's the returnable. So we're just going to return true. And we're going to run this. We're also going to go back over to our primary app and we're also going to run that because both of them, both applications need to be updated with the latest code or else it ain't going to work. Duh. Alrighty. So now we're over here in this application and I'm going to say, this is my cool message. 
and I'm going to say go to second app and it opens up the second app and what we want to do is we want to just see what it printed out for the URL. So as you can see, this is the URL at the top. We also have some garbage right here, but ignore that. This is the this is the message right here. So we have the app that are opening up as the scheme, that's second, colon slash slash, and then it's opening up and then it's passing us this. This is my cool message and everything's separated by percentage 20, like I said, because you can't have spaces because this is technically a URL. So as you can see, it's very easy to pass data into another app. All you have to do is add it as part of the URL that you're um, the URL that you're going to be um, opening that app with. Now, what we want to do is we want to um, kind of do some logic based off of that. So let's go ahead and um, add in. What we're going to do is we're going to unwrap the, or we're going to convert this URL into URL components, and we want to be able to access this string easily and be able to um, do stuff with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so as you can see, what, what I did was I passed the URL into um, to initialize a URL components, and we're just going to say resolving against base URL true. It doesn't matter which one you choose for this specific instance. It could be false too, but just put true. Uh, it's, it's the better thing to do right now. Uh, so we have URL components, and then we're going to grab the host. The host is essentially going to be whatever comes after the, the double slashes. So it's going to actually be all this, and we just want to make sure that it's printing out all that but it also should be um, unwrapping or it should be decoding the percentage the percentage uh, 20s. So let's go ahead and go to our primary app. We're going to have um, some new message. So some new message and we're going to open our secondary app. And as you can see, we get some new message and it's actually being um, decoded. So that's really good. So now we're getting somewhere. We're making some uh, progress, but this isn't necessarily how you would want to do deep linking um, because what you would want is you would want the host to be like the name of whatever page you're trying to open. So let's say you have a chat page that you want to open. So maybe it should say chat or let's say you want a feed to open. Maybe it's feed. In this case, we're, we have a secret page that we want to open. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the host is secret, but we also want to make sure that we're, we're passing over our message as well. So that means that we actually have to go back to our primary app and update the way that we're sending our URL. So let's go back to our primary app. As you can see, it's the primary app up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to go to the secret page and this could literally be anything. It could be, you know, poop right here, whatever you want to call it but I'm just going to call mine secret page because that's how I'm going to refer to it in the second app. And really we're just going to be comparing uh, strings. So if I said poop here, I would just have to check to make sure that the string says poop over there. But all we want to do is we want to make sure that we have something right here that we can refer to and check the string against. So I'm going to say secret page, and then we're going to do a question mark because if you're familiar with URLs, you do a question mark whenever you're going to do queries, you put all the query parameters after that. So we're going to say secret page is the host. Then the query parameters that we want is we want a message to equal no spaces. Sorry about that. The message to equal whatever this message is going to be um, right here. So let's go ahead and run this primary app one more time just to see what we're getting. And now instead of my message being printed out um, as the host, it's actually going to be secret page. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's try it out. So we do that. We run it. We go. Oh, this is a primary app. This is a secondary app. Sorry about that. Uh, secondary app. We want to check the secondary apps logs. And as you can see right here, this is the new one right here. So I should have cleared it, but sorry about that. But anyways, as you can see, the host is now secret page. So now what we can do is we can do uh, based off of what the secret host is, or I mean, what the, what the secret host is. Based off of what the host is, we can um, have some logic that will open up our secret page. So let's add that code in right now. All right, so as you can see, now we're checking to make sure that the host, once again, is gonna be secret page. And we're, we're, what we're doing is since we're just, I'm just showing you how to do this with storyboards, you know, you can use your coordinator or whatever you wanna use to navigate, but, um, 
we're just going to be using storyboards for this instance and what we have is we're going to just get our storyboard and we're going to say um, we're going to instantiate a view controller with an identifier now as i showed you before in the in the second app the main dot storyboard we have a second vc over here and as i said uh, we have the identifier set to secret vc so if we go back over to our app delegate we can see we're just going to instantiate that um, secret vc and we want to set our root view controller of our window to the secret vc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and run this i'm going to make sure that it's opening up to the the main screen which is just this night sky we can go back to our primary app and we could say uh show show me your secret place mm. all right so now we're gonna say show me your secret place and as you can see it is that secret place it's it's not it's no longer that night sky it's that galaxy or um it's 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 space baby it's space looks a little bit the same but it is a different view controller so as you can see it is that space um the space background so one last thing that we want to do is we want to be able to display that message inside of this view controller so what we need to do is we need to go over to our secret vc inside of our second app and we can go there secret vc and as you can see i already have the secret label and i believe it's already connected and what we want to do is we want to add another variable right here just so that we could pass data into it and set the uh, text of the secret label to that value so let's go ahead and do that now all right so as you can see we have secret message right here so that's going to be the value that we're going to access from that function in our app delegate the secret message and when we have the view to load run, what's gonna happen is we're gonna set the secret message to the text of that secret label. But we need to make sure that we add that functionality back over here in our app delegate. So before we um, set the root view controller to the secret VC, what we're gonna do is we're going to also um, set the secret message. So let's do that right now. All right, so as you can see, all I did was I made sure to cast this view controller that was being instantiated by this ID as a secret view controller. And um, since it's optional, it's an optional as, we need to you know use the optional chaining. So secret VC dot secret message, and we're gonna set it to the URL components. So URL components has something called query items, which is essentially um, all this right here. So these are the queries. So this is one query right here, message is equal to this value right here. So this is technically what a query item spits out. Now in a query item, you have a name and you have a value. This is the name message. The value is gonna be what's whatever is on the other side of this equals. So in this case, it'll be whatever message we're sending over to the app. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna set that to the secret message. So URL components, query items, and I just did first just because um, it is um, an array and I know that there's only going to be one uh, one query item so first is going to work if you have multiple then you might want to you know check those but we're just going to say first and we're going to set the value equal to the secret message so let's go ahead run that one more time and we're also going to head back over to our primary app and send in a new message so we're going to go to the primary app and you have found me deep linking and we're going to just send this message over to the second app oh it looks like i actually haven't set up the secret label so let's go ahead and do that all right i didn't connect it so that's what happens when you don't connect it you forget to do things my bad guys my bad <laughs> So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna go back to the primary app. We're gonna say, you have found me deep linking and we're gonna to go to our second app and uh, you have found me deep. <laughs> it was a little bit too long, I made it bold, whatever. But this is just a general idea of how to pass data from one area to another. Um, you know, And if I really wanted to fix this, all, all I would really have to do is just go over here and we just set the scaling down. Um, now before you go, I wanna show you one really cool thing um that you can actually do 
but let's run this first. But I want to show you one really cool thing that you can actually do using Safari because deep linking doesn't necessarily have to take place from apps. It can actually happen um, from a website. But before I show you that, let me show you this. So you have found me deep linking and now we go to the next message and you have found me deep linking and we're in space and all that other cool stuff. But back to what I was saying, one really cool thing that you can do with not only your apps, but any other apps that you know the, the proper scheme for, is that you can go over here to your Safari, make sure you check out kilaloco.com, and what you can do is you can type in the scheme right here. So remember how we had the scheme in our primary app? This is our primary app. Look at. So remember how we have the scheme right here? We can just go ahead and do that same thing right here from um, Safari. So let's go back over to the simulator Safari. I'm actually gonna um, close out all my other, I'm gonna close out the second app real quick, just so that it's not gonna show that um, the secret screen. So if I open it up, you'll see that it's just the regular screen. But if I wanted to do this from a website and you could just add this into your websites or whatever, you just go ahead and paste this in here. I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, there it goes. It did work. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the correct URL scheme. Seems like I put it at the end of everything else. So this is the app that we want to go to second colon slash slash. Which page do we want to go to? The, we want to go to the secret page and then we want to set the message as hello. Uh, make sure we do the percentage 20 because it is a URL percentage 20. Hello there. Um, percentage 20 again from percentage 20 again, Safari, Safari. And then we just run this and what it will do is it'll ask you if, if you wanna open up my second app, whatever the app name is. And as you can see, hello there from Safari. So isn't that pretty cool? It's pretty cool to me. But anyways, that's basically how you do deep linking. Um, I know that I said if you guys want universal links, which is something different, it still uses deep linking, the deep linking concept, but it is something completely different. If you are interested in actual universal links, which is different, then let me know. If you're interested in any other topics, let me know in the comments below. If you need help, or have any questions or want to send me snippets of your code, feel free to join the Kilo Loco membership. This is actually the reason why you guys are getting this video today is because some one of my members has actually asked me to cover this topic. So I actually put out this video super quick and um, here it is. Now you guys know something else. So make sure you check out kiloloco.com. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thank you for your time and keep coding passionately.